Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chum here and welcome back to another episode of Battlesport Blast. As you guys can see, once again, it is a brand new week and we have a brand new team. And that team is led by Charizard with the Mega Charizard Ite X. Actually, it's just called Charizard Ite X. I didn't even know. I'm confused. I figured it was topical because yesterday's stream I talked about a little theory I had about Charizard Ite X. Anyway, then we also have Jolteon with the Life Orb. We have my beloved x Cloud with the uh, choice specs. So we literally just click Boom Burst and start yelling at things. It's amazing. Then we have Mimikyu. This time not holding a Focus Sash, but instead having a Z Crystal. Specifically the Ghost DMZ. I remember there was a time that I had the Fairy type Z move because I was like, bruh, I'm so dumb with the player off misses, but Ghost type just kind of covers a lot more. Anyway, then... Our second last Pokemon is our Alolan Ninetales, uh, another one of my beloved Pokemon. This one is holding the Light Clay so we can get that weather effect for a substantial amount of time. And then finally, the last Pokemon is our major counter to the annoying Tapu Lele, which we will undoubtedly run into in this episode. It is Metagross. Either way, with that all said and done, let's jump into it and hope we can get a good amount of wins. I mean, usually we tend to have, like, I don't know... It, I feel like we tend to do like one win, two losses, but hopefully that, that will change this episode. You guys can see we are currently down by two, which is unfortunate. I thought we were down by one. I guess I'm wrong. We are down by two. Let's pick Lucy Mean version one music because we know, we know what that means. It's nine tails. Nine tails is here. And Lucy Mean version one is all about nine tails, to be honest. And I'm sure some of you wouldn't understand. Actually, speaking of things and understanding and in like really odd ways referring to a Nuzlocke. First of all, 1492 from Japan. That is our opponent. And okay, well, forget 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 the forget the whole Nuzlocke story. We'll focus on the game. Let's try and get some wins. So we have a Tapu Koko, Gyarados, uh, Landorus, Greninja, Blaziken, and a Cresselia. Can you see how much more like try hard my opponent's team is than mine? Every single one of those Pokemon is a major threat, and I have an Exploud. Like. And I'm bringing it. I'm 100% bringing it. Not, probably not first. I think... Ninetales wouldn't be a bad pick first up. Got nothing really super effective against me and I can just kind of hang out. So we'll do that. We'll get our... We'll get our wall up. Charizard X, I mean... He's a great wall. He can burn that Gyarados. It could be a fun time, so we'll bring him. If you guys don't know, I use a defensive Charizard X with Roost, Will-O-Wisp, Dragon Claw, and Flare Blitz is my moveset. And he's obviously got defensive stats. And then finally... Um, Metagross is of no use to us. He's got too many Pokemon that can destroy his soul. Uh, Mimikyu wouldn't be too bad. In fact, Mimikyu is probably the best option for us. I think we'll grab Mimikyu and we'll rock out. Oh, Jolteon wouldn't be too bad either. But then, if that Gyarados gets any kind of speed boost, we're donezo. But it can one-shot the... Never mind. I was going to say, it can one-shot the Landorus with an Ice-type move. But I'm like, wait. We're bringing the Ninetales. So, I mean, we don't need to, we don't need to worry about Landorus. Not gonna lie, the female character, uh, character customization in this game, I feel like it's way better than the males. It's just like, there's only one viable hair option in my opinion for me, and then I'll put a hat on it anyway. Because, I mean, without the hat. Like, in Pokemon, in Pokemon Gen 6, so X and Y, I was all like, bruh, let us take the hat off. And then now, we had that option finally, but I'm like, the hair always looks stupid, so let me put the hat back on. Oh, this Blaziken has no idea what he's in for. He has no idea. He's going to go for Protect to get that speed boost. What he doesn't know is the name is Ninetales, and I'm all of Aurora Veiling. I should add Speed Turn 1 against this Pokemon, so he should have no problems going for Aurora Veil. Whether I add Speed Turn 1 against this Pokemon, that's a different story, actually, because obviously Speed Tears are a thing. Aurora Veil comes up, perfect. We don't see Protect, which is obviously a little bit unfortunate for us, but... Next turn, we'll go for a... That's fine by us. That basically makes it neutral. Which is, in my opinion, good for us. I'd, I'd, I'd say it's good for us. He gets buffeted by the hail. If I went for side shot, this man would have been in a world of hurt. Is he going to baton pass? Can he learn baton pass? We'll find out. There's no reason not to go for the side shot. Because if he doesn't baton pass, we're in trouble. But like the fact that he's plus one, plus one... Sorry, plus two, plus two for special attack and speed. I was going to say, if we live that, that would have been nuts. Wouldn't have been a bad idea to go for the, um, the Aurora Veil. Because he's basically neutralized the Aurora Veil by, by um, using that Sword Dance, which kind of sucks. Uh, I feel like we lost a lot more out of that turn than they did. But, 
We'll carry on. Mimikyu can definitely deal with this man right now. Um, because we'll take an attack to the um to the disguise, so we'll do that. And we'll keep charge up in the back. I do wish we still had. Um, I do wish we managed to take out this Blaziken. It sucks that of all moves it went for Swords Dance. It really sucks. Look how tiny we are. I, I love. I love the way they do the camera in this game. We're not going to Z move this turn. Let's go for a Shadow Claw. We'll take a hit, hit to the disguise. I wish he'd still take Recall for hitting my Disguise. I don't think he does, though. He shouldn't. I, lo I lose no HP. But, I mean, you shouldn't be clicking Flare Blitz if you don't want to take if you don't want to take Recall damage. Shadow Claw. How much are we going to do? More than enough. I'm going to get buffeted by Hail 2. Not like this. This man is plus... Actually, what, did I, what was I saying? I just I before I was saying that he was plus two speed. No, he gets plus one speed from speed boost. He was plus two attack, plus one speed. Now I believe he's plus three speed. I believe, because it was yeah, it's plus three speed right now. We're putting a lot of a lot of work on Charizard's shoulders right now, which is kind of scary, but I'm sure we'll manage. Now this person's debating on whether or not it's worth saving their Blaziken. It seems like they believe it is worth saving Blaziken. They bring out Landorus. That's fine by me. Let's see how much damage this will do, and we'll potentially go for... Oh, that's so unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. I don't want to use my Z-move against this thing right now while I'm minus one. Especially since it won't kill. And he's probably going to go for an Earthquake, so I can just switch to Charizard, right? We'll do it. I mean, sure, we're Charizard X now, but we're not We're not Charizard X before. Which means, as in neutral Charizard, we're not, we're not dragon type. We're still flying. We're still dodgy earthquakes. And I'm sure he doesn't have any. He might even go for Stealth Rocks to be like, oh, let's just screw over the Charizard when he gets in. But if I can switch in first, uh, we'll be in good shape. Honestly, I'm not sure what else Landorus does apart from Click Earthquake, if I'm being quite honest. I really don't. Can we see a Rock type move? Is he going to predict me that hard? Rock Tomb. Yep, I'm dead. I'm not dead because I'm defensive. Look at that. This charge up the monster. Speed fell. Great. That means I'm useless. Um, but he might go for the same move again. Because of the damage and because of the speed force. I'm going to fight. Mega Evolve. And... If I Willow, we would be in pretty good shape. I'll Roost. Because when I, when, I, when I Mega Evolve, it shouldn't, that Rock Tomb shouldn't do the same amount of damage. It, I should leave the Rock Tomb. Uh, and then roost up. In, I, I'm probably not going to add speed right now. I'm pretty sure Landorus is at least relatively fast. I'm 90% certain he's, he's got decent speed. Rock him again. We should live this one. Last one did 110. Now we're mega evolved. And it's nowhere near as super effective. We're of course significantly slower. That's fine. Now our main problem here is we need to be able to live in Earthquake. Which. It's, it's feasible. It is feasible. And I guess we'll just click Flare Blitz because we're not going to get much further than Flare Blitz. Like, we're not going to get much further than this one turn. He withdraws. What's coming in? Okay, so, so they're switching in Blaziken to, to its death. That's fine by me. That's actually really good for me. And I'm assuming that, that Landorus must be choiced in some way if it decides to switch out. Because there's no reason not to try and go for Earthquake when it does that speed me and all that sort of fun stuff. Take a tiny minuscule amount of damage. And if Landorus comes back in, we can guarantee it's it's definitely um choice. And to that extent, it's, it should be scarfed. There was no way a banded Landorus was gonna do that little damage to me. That is honestly fine. There's nothing really I can do about it. The question is: do we think we can live? And if well, if okay. We know it's scarfed, like pretty much fact. Which means switching out and switching back in again is not a point because we're not going to outspeed it regardless of how many speed drops we have. So we might as well just click, click Flare Blitz for maximum damage so that Mimikyu can end it, end its career. If we leave the Earthquake. If. Because there's no point in throwing Mimikyu into an Earthquake. There's literally no point. I, I have faith that we can live this. I mean, we're bulky Charizard X. Look at that. We will die to the damage of, um, of Flare Blitz though. But I mean, not that big of a deal. They should do a significant amount of damage. Oh, we live. Wow. Okay, so I'm realizing now that Aurora Veil was kind of our biggest savior. 
I was thinking that like we definitely like even though we are defensive, that rock tomb still did a lot less than I expected. Now I remember why Aurora Veil. Vale. So Aurora Veil did come through at some point. Um, and I'll just click Dragon Rage because why not? Sorry, Dragon Claw. Matt, Matt. Dragon Rage. Imagine if I had Dragon Rage. Miss. Imagine if you could D Mega Evolve. Could you imagine the plays that you could make with Charizard X and Gyarados? Actually, a crit. You could have used that last turn. Hey, bud. Now the question is. What can Mimikyu do to this man? He probably won't switch out. I see no reason to do that. I don't know if we can live in it. I don't think we live in attack, to be honest. Um, the way I see it... No, Shadow Sink won't kill. There's no, there's no point even trying it. It won't kill. It just factually won't kill. And then it just goes to Earthquake. If we can live this and we have to beat the last Pokemon, there's a chance. No, nope. maybe this thing was banded. Now that I'm thinking about it, banded, and then taking into account the um, the Aurora Veil, vale, that that math kind of does add up a little bit. Maybe, maybe just a little bit. Maybe I don't know, but I'm I'm proud of Charizard for surviving there. I feel like we just didn't bring an adequate adequate team, um, for that. It's just mo most of the fact that we lost uh, Nine Tails effectively for free. Like uh, we did nothing. We just lost Nine Tails for that Aurora Veil. Vale. That really screws us over. Again, as always, we saved that battle video. And now, we're already in the dumps for this episode. Of, or for this team, rather. Because we've got 1-0. And I mean, I'm telling you, like... We're going up against the cheesiest of cheese all the time. It makes me... It makes me hate playing this game. Like... Can I have some variety? Can I see something that isn't OU tier? This person has a 1500 rating at the very... At, you know, above 1500, which means he's going to have just the meme team with OU, 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 the straight OU. I mean, if anything, the thing that probably is least OU is Arcanine. And it's probably going to be like bulky Arcanine. I'm just going to bring this guy. I'm just going to freaking click Boom Burst. I don't care. Um, and then, I guess. Do we really want to do that? Nine tails. I mean, we can instead of break, we can forego nine tails. Oh, but nine tails actually does work here, except for the Metagross. But that's why we bring the Charizard. Actually, Expat's not a good pick here, to be honest. Expat's not really not a good pick. I feel like Mimikyu's one of our best picks. Has a good uh, good matchup against pretty much anything. Um, let's see what else. What else? Uh, let's bring Jolteon, Mimikyu, and I guess Charizard. Because Metagross doesn't do too much here either. And yeah, it needs an x -Blood. All right. We'll bring this team. We're still bringing Mimikyu, Charizard. And that's the one biggest thing that I hate about Battle Spot as well is that I don't want to bring too many Pokemon with Z-Moves in Mega Evolution because then I can't bring them all at the same time. But, the, but then at the same time as that... Um, what do you call it? If I only bring one Mega Evolution and one Z move, then I'm pretty much forced to bring them each time, which is kind of, kind of suck. Either way, we got George in the lead here, so we can do some quick switches and stuff, and maybe we'll see Metagross as our first opponent. That's fine by me. We could see an Earthquake come off as its first move, just because it would technically one shot me, but we will go for the Volt Switch. And in the scenario this thing Mega Evolves and outspeeds me, then I call hacks because Metagross is way too powerful when it Mega Evolves. It's legitimately a tank that if it outspeeds a Jolteon after Mega Evolution, I'm, I'm literally done. I'm just going to bring Mega Metagross every single time because it's so broken. I totally understand why they said, hey, you know what, let's, for let's forego Megas and just cease cease their production because they're way too strong. At least something's fast than it. Now he's in range of a Shadow Ball, which is good news for us. But I was, of course, not willing to let Jolteon die to get a little bit of damage off on a, on a Metagross. Let's see what it's going to go for. If it happens to go for the Earthquake, we're in really good shape. We probably won't because he's not a bad player. Zen Headbutt, that's fine. We dodge it because we're talented. Uh, then we go for the Mega Evolution, and I guess we'll just go for... I mean, will o puts it in the bin, but... um, But... Flailblitz kills it if he doesn't switch. So let's go for the will o Mega Evolution. I, I almost clicked Willow without hitting Mega Evolution again because I didn't realize you'd have to click it again. But it definitely makes sense you'd have to click it again. 
He's probably going to get a hit off here. We're pretty lucky for dodging that um, Zen Headbutt, to be honest. I believe Zen Headbutt's 90%, so I can't complain about that. But hopefully we'll uh, we'll see yeah, if he's going to land the second one. How much damage is going to do? That'll be a good gauge of how screwy we had. That probably would have killed... Okay. Okay. I take it back. We're not lucky. I'm pretty sure the chance of him flinching me is about the same chance of him... Um, what did, oh, Arcanine, great. Flash fire, great. Good game design. Intimidate. Willow. Doesn't, okay, he doesn't have flash fire. But obviously, he has intimidate. Let's go for the roost. What's he going to do to me? That's the question. Is he Earthquake Arcanine? It wouldn't be a bad idea to give Earthquake to this Charizard, but I do want to have dual stab. Like, I think it's really important to have dual stab. At the same time, this guy isn't really a dragon killer, so Dragon Claw isn't that important, in my opinion. Like, we don't really go, we don't really put Charizard against a lot of dragons all the time, because, I mean, it is a dragon. Which is actually the most tilting thing about dragon typing, is that it's not good against anything but itself, but pretty much any dragon doesn't want to go up against itself. So what are you, what are you doing, my friend? What are you doing? What is your play to make? Flare Blitz? Interesting, interesting choice of move. Look at that, there's a whole lot of nothing. It's four times resistant. There's no chance of status affecting. At all. Maybe it's, this thing has Rocky Helmet and that's what he wants me to do, walk into Rocky Helmet. Because I'll do it. Or maybe he just has nothing that can really stand up against Charizard. Let's see, Rocky Helmet? Yep, cool. That's fair. Flare Blitz again. But as you can see, like, I'm, I can just keep roosting up. I got no problems here just to keep roosting up. In fact, I could swing another claw, um, and then roost up afterwards. So we'll, we'll do that. We'll swing another claw. Surprising, though, that Metagross was shattered. If Metagross comes in here, I'd be in trouble. I'll admit that. I'll definitely admit that. This thing probably has Morning Sun, too, but I'm doing more damage, and my um, heal move has more PP. Yeah. So there's the first Morning Sun. So, I mean, this is going to be the stalliest match, but I think we should win. Because I'm pretty sure Morning Sun's base PP is 5. Unless this person uses PP up like a million times, they should only have 5 or, or at most 8, which is still less than me. So we're in good shape. We're going to go for the heal. I think he realized that his fight is pointless. And it's really good for us that we did heal this turn. Dragon Clawing this turn would have been pointless. And healing up was almost going to guarantee that we um, that we will live an attack. I don't think Mega Metagross can kill me. Even with um, Earthquake, it is non-stab and I am defensive. Almost max HP. I think we'll go for the Willow. Or oh, maybe not. Because we don't outspeed the Metagross. And normally this whole Charizard's deal is that it will Willow something powerful. And then next turn we'll outheal it. The damage. I think we'll just go for the Flare Blitz. If he, and if he switches again, then um, Arcanine just takes the hit. Yeah, he withdraws. We don't go for the Willow because there's no point. And Arcanine takes the Flare Blitz. Interesting choice. I mean, I guess intimidating is not bad. Like, I realize now that I am fairly significantly intimidated. And I guess they just want me to switch out, which I'm, I'm, I'm not interested in doing that. Like, anytime soon. I'm going to burn you down like crazy with my, um, with my Arcanine. I mean, what can I, what can even come in here? Jolteon? No, thank you. Let's go for Dragon Claw. Will, it, will they switch out again? Will they switch in Metagross again? I want to try and learn that pattern, see how they feel about switching in Metagross again, and when they do, I want to try and predict it with Jolteon, and then Shadow Ball to death. Because that'll be obviously a really good position for us. Alternatively, alternatively getting a... Um, they may need to heal up now, or, sw or, or switch. That's my thought process right now. So should we, should we go into Jolteon and try and make that read, or should we heal up? Because right now we're doing such abysmal damage that we might not get anywhere. We'll see. We'll see what they're gonna do. I'm gonna go for my roost. We'll just see. In this situation, on half health, what would they want to do? Do they think that okay? They don't think switching is necessary. They think Morning Sun is necessary. Or are they gonna flare blitz again? Morning Sun. All right, that's fine. I'm 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 perfectly okay trading heal for heal. I'm 100% okay doing this because again, I should have more PP. And, I mean, eventually we're going to swing that crit and it's going to do a lot of damage. It is going to do a lot of damage. Because right now we are minus two. Which is really, really, really bad for us. But, I mean, 
I'm still doing more damage than he is with his Flare Blitz um, Rocky Helmet combo. Maybe I'm not, actually. I'm not. I'm actually not doing as much damage. But like I said, we're going to get the crit like this turn right now, so what's the point? We have nothing to lose by swinging this crit right now. E-speed. Interesting switching up, seeing if we can do some more damage. I mean, I don't know why you've been Flare Blitzing this entire time knowing that there's the crit. Told you. And then, we'll go for... Um, they might have to switch here. They might be like, oh, we're possibly in range. But... We, ha we have to try and kill it. We have to try and kill it. They have to heal. We should heal. Dragon Claw, can you pick up enough for the KO? I beg of you, Dragon Claw. Do the damage, do the damage, do the damage. It was close. It was very, very close. It was worth trying, in my opinion. And then we'll go for the heal this turn. This is such a stall fight. This is like two stally fire type Pokemon just chilling. E speed might pick up the KO in me right now. I'm realizing that in hindsight. And they're probably going to click it. They are probably going to click it. E speed. Can we live it? I think it did for more than 40 last time. Not we do live it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And then we can heal up ourselves. Right, so we're going to make sure we stay away from getting too low on HP. Because, of course, E-Speed outspeeding me is dangerous. And we're going to get another crit right now, so we'll just kill him. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed the fact that I called the crit. And then I completely blatantly ignored the fact that I did call it. And was like, yeah, see, look, told you we got the crit. Like, it's completely normal. Let's see if we can get another one. This stall fest is getting out of control. Is there, no, there is no, like, complete timer on this thing. There's just, like, a your time thing. Honestly, this match might even end up going down to your time because this guy's burning turns really, really quickly. Like, sorry, um, really, really slowly, and he's burning his time really quickly is what I mean. In, in, ter in, turns, in terms of turns, he's burning his time. Morning sun. Eventually, bud, you're going to run out, and I am, I am perfectly okay with that. Do you think, do you think he's double switched just to get the extra, um... Just to get the extra intimidate off, which is not a bad play by any means. Surprising a little bit. Not a bad play. He withdraws. See, this is where I want to bring in um Jolteon. Could you imagine if I clicked Flare Blitz? Could you imagine? I mean realistically I could bring in I could bring in Mimikyu here, and I might just do that. Because Mimikyu can deal with this thing, no problem. Oh, but Mimikyu is not a fan of a bullet punch. I'm just gonna click. I'm just gonna click Flare Blitz, to be honest. I'm just, I'm just gonna click it. Not, no reason not to. He, unless this person doesn't have Earthquake, they're gonna go for it. They withdraw again. This is insane. They're just going for several. Like, all they want to do. Let's go for Intimidate after Intimidate after Intimidate because they realize they're not getting anywhere. I'm minus three on this Charizard right now. Can you believe that? And I'm still doing that much damage. That's kind of wild, actually. Did you, you, you get that I'm okay with this. I'm okay with these damage losses because I'm, I'm forcing you to keep making costly moves. Ooh. And Metagross is coming back again. I'm gonna get some chip damage off for the first time against his Metagross. It's gonna do nothing. It puts him in range of a Volt Switch, actually, which is kind of cool. Um, again, I'm not opposed to this guy going down. I will, I will, I will, I will trade Charizard for Metagross. He must not have Earthquake, and he must not realize that I'm living that. And I'm, I'm probably not gonna kill him with this, by no means. I killed him, never mind. Charizard's OP. That was a minus three Flare Blitz on a Metagross. I can't even fathom that. He's gonna E-Speed. He's gonna bring an Arcanine, he's gonna E-Speed. I'm gonna switch into Mimikyu because it's, it's, it's immune. And then we're gonna Z-Move that Arcanine. Sound good? I think I like that strategy. Like, he has to E-Speed. He can't afford to do anything else. And if he if he makes a prediction, I like very well played on his part. But 
He has to E-Speed now, it will definitely kill me. But if he didn't do it, he's just in an even huger pickle than before. There's E-Speed, immunity, way to go MVQ. Look at this beast. Let's go for the Swords Dance. We haven't Swords Danced MVQ in a long time, ladies and gentlemen. We haven't done this in a long time. SD, watch me catch a Willow right now. I'm probably catching Willow actually. But I'm dodging it, never mind. It's fine. It's neutral. As in, like, we're back at neutral. This turn me meant nothing apart from burn damage for him, which means I kind of did lose out. All right, let's do it. He thinks that I had no other play, but really, it's a never ending nightmare for him. Let's go, Mimikyu. It's been a long time since we've seen this Z move. I'm excited. Let's go. Let's go. Never ending nightmare. I love this move. It's so cool, man. It's such a good move. Honestly, like I said on the stream yesterday, or at least it was rest day when I recorded the stream, these Z moves are so fun. That did nothing. Wow, that's insane. That did nothing. I'm living this. I never mind. I have a disguise up still. Lol. Of course I'm living this. Is it morning sun time? Because, um,. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna shadow claw crit you, and it's gonna be okay. Oh, actually, I might not speed this thing. Go for a shadow claw. What do you mean, might? I literally just had sped out. What am I talking about? This shadow claw could kill. This shadow claw could kill. Don't you agree? I thought it was, I thought he was going for a Z move because it, it stalled for so long there. Tapu Coco, welcome to the party, my dude. Welcome to the party. So Tapu Coco is our opponent's final Pokemon. Not not a good thing for us. Uh, but I think Jolteon can handle it. Way to go, Mimikyu. It's good damage. I'm proud of you. My water bottle fell over because I'm fiddling with it for no reason. It's empty. But I, I'm, I, I have literally been fiddling this entire episode. Like, this entire battle, at the very least, I have just been fiddling. Dazzling Gleam. Not going to do too much. He's going to take another... Sh no, 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 words. He's going to take another Shadow Call. That was Life Orb boosted. Life Orb boosted. And that's a crit. It's a crit. You can't see me. I'm critical. Ooh! This match is kind of insane, actually. This match is kind of wild. I'm liking this. Look at my time. It's going down to seven minutes for move time. This has been such a long fight. We're 30 minutes deep, ladies and gentlemen. This is, well, pretty much 30. Not, not exactly, pretty much, close. We'll be 30 minutes deep by the time we even start looking for the next match. In fact, I might have to call this one at two ma two, ep two matches because it's just too long. Um, let's go for the Shadow Claw. There's no reason not to. I mean, what are you going to do? Morning Sun? Match was forfeited. He knows. He knows that he can't do anything to Charizard. Charizard comes in and wins the match. That was awesome. I'm actually really happy with that match. I'm really quite happy with that match. And you know what? Why not? Why not go for that third match and make it an extra long episode for you guys? I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Just I'm super hyped off that one like because we played it so well. Admittedly, I would have preferred to find out my opponent's timing and switch in Jolteon into his um, Metagross switching. Because if we get Jolteon into Metagross for free, Jolteon can go for Shadow Ball and kill it. And it will do more, of course, than that. Um, than the... Um, what's that move called? It will do more than the Volt Switch, which of course did about 45% to be honest. Let's go for the Totem po Pokemon music. Haven't heard that one in a while. I tend to pick like off three different music and actually no, we're going Team Skull. We're going Team Skull because that was a cheese play and Team Skull just cheesy. I'm keen. I'm happy with that performance right there. I'm happy with that performance. Uh, let's see what my opponent wants to bring in this next matchup. We're currently six wins and eight losses, which is really, really like suboptimal. Like I said, I'm not the best at this game. By any means, we are going up against someone from, I don't even know, I didn't read it, but who's 1429. This is the kind of team I want to see. At the same time, it is straight power. It is straight power. But you know what else is straight power? x -Bloud. I might do it, actually. Just open x -Bloud. What do you reckon? I'm thinking, yeah. Open x -Bloud. There's no reason not to. He has nothing to resist it. Um, Now, biggest threats. That, that, that Haxorus is a bit of a threat, but not too major. I think we can deal with it. Uh, Gyarados is a threat. What can really deal with Gyarados right now? Mimikyu can. Uh, Mimikyu can definitely deal with Gyarados, I reckon, in some sense of the word. And so could Ninetales, actually. 
Ninetales would not be bad against it. And Ninetales can deal with the, um... Can deal with a lot of things, actually. Actually, getting getting it getting in a Royal Vellup, um, for Expert is probably the best thing we can do. And then final Pokemon, it's going to be the Mimikyu or Charizard because both of them are vital. We can't really bring in Metagross. There's too many things that can get around it with Dark type moves and Fire, uh, fire type and Stab. Um, Jolteon, I mean, it can really meme the Gyarados if it has any Mega Evolved. If it has a Mega Evolved with Dragon Dance, we're in trouble. I guess Charizard Stall it is, ladies and gentlemen. Charizard Stall it is. I think Charizard, I'm pretty certain, should be able to take any move from Gyarados and Will-O-Wisp, but even after it's already plus one. So we should be good to go with that sense. Uh, as you guys can see, when we are limited to have, having um, one Z-Move Pokemon and one Mega Pokemon, it really, really limits our options, as you can see. Charizard came to every match, because it's always better to have a Mega Evolution than to not have a Mega Evolution, when there's no distinct choice. I mean, Metagross hasn't been seen in this episode because he's here for a specific reason. I'm going to catch a fake out. It's not okay with me. I wish there was something you can do when you know fake out's coming. I really wish there was something you can do. But there's no move that I can do to out-prioritize it. You know what I mean? Whoops, I bumped my microphone. I sincerely apologize. It's still it is still reverberating, I apologize. Um the Aurora Veil, that's all there is to it. I still can't believe I learned and used Aurora Veil in my Let's Play without realizing that my my Nine Tails did not set up the hail, because it was obviously not a hidden ability. If we don't catch a, a fake out right now, we're, we're, we're going to be in really good shape. But of course. Wow. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. A return will kill and it will outspeed me, so I don't know what I'm doing. A jump kick? If you could miss, that would have been great. That's such a dumb Pokemon. Why did that do that much damage? God, I hate Low Pony. God damn it. Alright. Expert can't come in here. Unless we want to dodge the attack. So Charizard, Will O Wisp. And we'll call it a day. Mega Evolve Will O Wisp. Fight. Mega Willow. Let's let's not miss. I'm pretty sure we're just as likely to miss Will O Wisp as they had to miss High Jump Kick, so. Let's have them miss the high jump kick, shall we? That's really unfortunate. If we if we could have gotten that Aurora Veil, we would have been in such good shape. Because um, with Expert behind Aurora Veil, he's going to take such little damage and be able to dish out so much. Ice Punch, interesting decision. You get the crit. If I miss, if they got a crit and I miss my attack, yo, they should have just gotten the freeze right then and there. To be honest, I mean, what's the point in living otherwise? Interesting choice to go for Ice Punch. Like, normal move is better by all means. Um, we're going to heal up right now, of course, because we are, you know, the, the big man on campus. We are the Mega Charizard. Unless this Pokemon doesn't have Return. Fake Out, High Jump Kick, um, and Ice Punch. I think mine has Fake Out, Drain Punch, Return, and Ice Punch, maybe. I think that's what my moveset might be. High Jump Kick. They're still, still not going to do a lot of damage because, of course, the Burn. And obviously, I'm going to outheal that. I'm going to easily outheal that. Absolutely no troubles there. Look at that. Look at that healing. We're both buffed by hail. Eventually, they're going to they're going to miss that attack, and I'm going to completely meme them. Unless they decide to switch moves, they might even switch Pokemon. To be honest, uh, we can't afford to take a hit, swing, and not kill them. So we have to roost again. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of store plays, but I do love this Charizard build. It's so awesome. They withdraw Lip, lip Honey. Lip Honey. You get Haxorus out here. That's fine. Imagine if I went for Dragon Claw. Imagine. And Dragon Claw is the move I would have gone for it, to be honest. Even though Flabbers probably would have been the killer, I couldn't risk taking any damage into letting it live. We're full HP. We're in good shape. Now, the question is... Do we just swing Dragon Claw or Willow? I think we'll go for Willow. Because I don't think one Dragon Claw is going to kill this thing. They go for a Dragon Claw. They're obviously choice scarfed. Because you don't run this thing without being... Mm -hmm. Never mind. Why was my last Pokemon? What did I bring? Oh, x the losing Pokemon. Great. 
Yeah, I, I've lost this one. I can't believe that one Dragon Claw kill. Like, I remember the last time I used a Haxorus, it was absurdly subpar. I just felt like it would swing with its most powerful attack, with its sky high attacks that and do nothing. And I was like, well, where's the fun in that, right? Alright, so here's the play. We live the Dragon Claw. That's, that can't be life orb damage. That's absurd. We live the Dragon Claw. Then Low Pony comes in. Oh, Fake Out will kill me. Never mind. I was going to be like, Low Pony comes in, and then she goes for high jump kick and misses. No, Fake Out is a thing. Well, we'll let it happen. We'll let it happen. I'm surprised that thing did that much damage. It wouldn't have been a bad idea at all. At all. For me to keep... Um... Let's click focus. Uh, let's click. Never mind. Let's say let's click focus plus lols, but I can't do that because I'm choice. Will they BM me and go for no? They didn't. Okay, so as much as I want Xpy to shine, I feel like Xpy is only ever going to shine in viewer Wi-Fi battles because that was pretty, pretty bad. If I had gotten a raw roll, that was a completely different fight. But of course, um, Low Punny does way too much damage to fake out. What on earth was that? I have no idea. That was absurd. Either way, that is going to be it for this episode. Maybe I should have said, hey, you know what? Let's call it at, at one for one. But we are now two for one. Uh, and two losses, one win. And, and I think our overall record is now minus three. Which means we're really good at the game, guys. We're really good at the game. We're a absolutely excellent at this video game. Either way, like I said, we're going to call it an episode. I'm going to quit battling because obviously I don't want to lose some more. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And of course, if you guys have any suggestions... Uh, to change my team up for next uh, for next week's you know team, and you guys think it will make me do some better? That that was a poorly formed sentence. But if you guys have any suggestions for better Pokemon to form a better team, let me know in the comment section below. And of course, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notified when new episodes of this series and other videos on the channel come out. Either way, once again, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful day.